Well, hello. Today we're going to talk about Lesson 81. And Lesson 81 has to do with proportions to solve percent problems. There's a little bit of vocabulary that goes along with this, and it's pretty easy. Definition of a percent. Percent is a ratio in which 100 represents the total number in the group. Therefore, percent problems can be solved using the ratio box just as we've done before. So, and some of you are already very familiar with this, so it won't be like anything really new. Here's an example. If 30% uh, of a group of people ordered salad and 25 people did not order salad, how many lunchtime customers were there total? That means all together salad eaters and non-salad eaters. So we can just set it up in a uh, ratio box. Uh, we know we have percent would be on this side and the actual count, actual number on the right. We know 30%, 30% of a group order salad. We know the total is 100%. And we know that 25 people did not eat salad. Now before we do too much, we can find out this amount here because all we have to do is take 100 minus 30 and we get to 70. Uh, we don't know the number of people who ate salad and we don't know the total number of people. So that's, that's what we're going to have to solve for. And that's really a pretty easy process. Okay. So we look at the ratio box. We can see that we can solve for the total. This is total just by simply setting it up and cross multiplying. So 70 over 100, and you can look at this too if you want to. 70 over 100 equals 25 over the total. So at this moment we're ignoring this top part. And we go ahead and solve 70 times t equals 100 times 25, or 70 t equals 2500. Then we would divide both sides by 70. And we would end up with t equal to 35.71, which I would most likely uh, round up to 36. Then we would be able to say that our total number now is 36. And to find our missing amount right here, we would just subtract the two. <coughs> and we would get the total number of people who ate salads as 11, okay, because we would subtract, take the 36 minus 25, and we get 11. Okay, now, another example that I'd like us to look at. 40% of the students at Lincoln Middle School do not buy their lunch at school. If 360 students do buy their lunch at school in the cafeteria, how many students go to Lincoln Middle School total? So we're missing the total. So again, we go ahead and we have our, our ratio box with our percent and actual count. We know that 40% do not buy lunch. We don't know how many buy lunch, but we can do the 100 minus 40 and get 60% here, okay? So we now know that 60% buy lunch. And that gives us enough to set up the ratio because we know 60 over 100 equals 360 over T. And we can go ahead and solve, okay? And this is, this is our method for finding 60. We can go ahead and solve 60T equals 100 times 360. And so our total ends up to be 600. Well, we now know the actual count because all we really need to do is take 600 minus 360, and we end up with 240, and 240 do not buy lunch. Now, if you wanted to, you could go through the process of going, of writing it out as 40 over 100 equals 360 over, excuse me, 40 over 100 equals X over 600 and you could solve and you would still get 240. In other words, what I'm saying is you could put a number in for here, let's just you could put, make this X, and you could write this as 40 
over 60 equals x over 360. And then you could solve and find that x as well. But uh, we were looking for, and the question asked for the total number of students. So that's why I went the route that I did. Okay? Now, the last example is what if you're given a problem and the missing quantity that you're looking for is the percent. It's not the total or it's not one of the pieces. It's the percent. So let's look at another example. If 21 of 70 acres are planted with alfalfa, what percent of the acres are not planted with alfalfa? Again, set up your ratio box. Okay, you have planted with, planted without. You know the total of them added together is 100%. You know 21 acres are planted with alfalfa out of 70 acres. Well, this is an easy one. We can take 70 minus 21 and we hit 49 for here. So now we, we've got something we can set up. We could go ahead and set this one up. Without over 100 equals 49 over 70. Or we could go with over 100 equals 21 over 70. We could solve either one. I chose to, since we were looking for not planted, I just I started planted with, planted with over 100 equals 21 over 70. I went ahead and solved. P times 70 equals 100 times 21. P times 70, and then divide by 70 on both sides, and I end up with point. I end up with 30, which is 30 percent, and that is the planted with alfalfa. So 100 minus 30 is 70. Now I could have done it an alternative way. I could have gone P without over 100 equals 49 over 70 and solve that way and I would have gone to the answer. The only thing is, is I am always hesitant to, to pick a number that wasn't given to me to do my calculations. In other words, 49 wasn't one of the original numbers that was given to me. And if I were to have made a math error in my subtraction, then this will be wrong, and this will be wrong, and that will be wrong. Whereas if I just take numbers that I already have, I have no number here, but I have this and this and this, then I'm guaranteed to at least get one of them right. Okay, so if I take 2100 divided by 70, I get 30%. If I take 100 minus 30, I get 70%. 70% is not planted with alfalfa, and that is 49 acres as well. Okay, hopefully this wasn't too confusing on a, on a day when everybody's trying to re-get re gear back into things. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later.